Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. And we had just gotten out of a snowy <laughs> town of <laughs> death with an invisible windigo, and oh, there is some jealousy going on here. Little Toby is not happy that Maguire is kind of skirting his duties for helping out their dad to get better. Toby does not trust this uh, young woman. Not only is she not dressed for the occasion, given the temperature, but where the heck, she, how should she know all this stuff about the places they've been to? And holy crap, did you see her move that big rock? Even Toby's just like, dude, did you see her do that? That is not natural. You've got to go back. But of course, you know, the power of a boner is stronger than uh, familial tiles, ties, apparently. So he's going to trust this young woman who has uh, huh, uh, done quite a lot of daring feats and acrobatics and s s feats of strength all over the place. And somehow, you know, McGuire is okay with this. For some reason that reminds me of like the Seven Dwarves or something. <laughs> All spun up. Oh gosh. This is really not looking good at all. Oh, I knew it! Let me tell you, when I first played this game, I was not expecting this. But all the clues were there. All the clues were there that something was not right with this woman. Oh gosh, but not, uh, not this. This was uh, completely unexpected. The people caught on to the fact that something was wrong with the woman. They didn't catch on to the fact that she was a spider woman. Literally. I don't have a proper name or terminology for her, but... A Valkyrie or something? I don't know. So this is the final puzzle boss. Hopefully I don't die. I can still make my five death or less run. Okay, so you gotta swing back and forth using the momentum of physics. Oh! Just trying to grab the little boy out. No! Oh! But she'll take the big boy, Maguire. She's trying to kick you away while she tries to feed on him. But nope, you knock her onto her back by rolling into her. And you take the strength of the bigger boy, Maguire, and pull out those legs! Oh gosh, this whole battle is just creepy. You gotta roll right into her. So overall, this puzzle boss isn't really that bad. Or final boss, it's kind of anticlimactic. Oh gosh! Oh, that... I don't know if that would have resulted in an instant kill or not. At this point, she is severely weakened and she can no longer uh, climb up to the ceiling anymore. She doesn't have enough legs for that. <laughs> and she's a lot easier to manipulate and pull, push over onto her back, the less legs she has. How is she still crawling with one leg? Ooh! At the very last second upon her death, she stabs him through. Pales him. Whew! That did not look good. Even the dad felt it from all the way on the other side of the, the mountain. And of course the healer is like, nope, those two boys are dead men. Best not worry about them anymore. I sent them on a suicide mission. They ain't coming back. It's okay. It's okay, you'll wake up with no sons. 
What a terrible healer. Uh, and that's it. I think I've completed my challenge. I mean, there's uh, there's a little bit more to play through the game, but in terms of things that I think can kill me, that was it. So five deaths or less is certainly achievable, and I, I honestly thought I was going to have a harder time with this game, because I could have sworn I died about 20 to 30 times the first time playing. So having some foreknowledge of the game beforehand actually helps out a lot. When you, when you don't know what's coming up, that's when a lot of the deaths occur. But I kinda had an idea of what to expect now. Ooh, that looked painful. But on the bright side, we landed right next to the one location we really wanted to be at, which was the tree. The Tree of Healing, which we have been searching for this entire game. Like, seriously. Now, the game kind of skips ahead a little bit, and gets us to the bottom of the tree without having us go all the way through hauling our bigger brother which would have been interminable in terms of time wasted in gameplay terms oh now he's all about the mission after he just pretty much got himself killed by trusting a you know his uh, lower head rather than his upper head Go ahead, little bro. I made a stupid mistake. You can heal dad. I'll be fine. It's just a flesh wound. So pretty much here you gotta navigate. Oh, okay. Gotta navigate through the tree, up the tree. Yeah, we kind of slipped through that ice uh, flow up top there. You probably saw it off in the distance. So that was quite the way to travel. Long, long way to travel but just lugging your big brother around like dead weight. Nah. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Wondering what would have happened if there were some birds or something in that nest. And here is the mystical elixir. The sap of the tree, if you will. Apparently, this is what we need to heal their dad. And the game conveniently shows you a path uh, out of the tree so you don't have to go back down the dangerous path. Sure, that looks safe. He's having second thoughts. <laughs> and of course, we come back to find his brother dead. Perish to the wounds of the spider lady. Aya. 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 
Apparently this sort of mystical water does not work. Undeceased people, only those who are alive. So they go on a mission to save their dad, and they end up losing one of their own. Trade one life for another. Some of the voice acting is actually pretty good. Especially with the heartfelt scenes like that. Oh! Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Gets to hug his brother one last time. I do like the camera motion here. And you come back to behind him, and all he is is just a dead corpse again. He was able to hug his brother one last time, if only through spirit. Man, this game just turned bittersweet. You completed your quest, but at great cost. So you have to dig a grave for your brother here at the base of the tree. Without a care for how much time this is actually wasting to get back to your dad and heal him too. And, of course, the game is going to make you do every single step of the way in burying your brother. To include slowly walking over there, crying and gasping. Picking him up and dragging him. So yeah, <laughs> there's no easy way to get around this. Uh, you have to get through the whole sequence as slow as it is to progress onward. And uh, I don't think we're done yet. We have one more thing left to do here with our brother. Yes, we have to kick or push each mound of dirt onto him, completing the burial. This is just beyond cruel. Thank you, game designers, for having us do this. I don't know, each of those four piles of dirt fill up that space nice and perfectly. And with that, there is no hope of recovering back our brother. Toby is alone. It is quite a pretty tree. And we have one of those owl creatures. The previous one that we had escape with us from the giant stronghold died. This looks like to be a brand new one. Now how or how it learned about Toby and Maguire and was able to find him here? I have no idea. Maybe they have some telepathic, you know, skills or something, abilities between the birds and stuff to kind of, hey, 
these two kids saved me. You might want to help them out in the future. So, it's time to fly home, back to Dad, and complete the game in the next video.